I was a first time candidate running uh, citywide here in DC. I was running because I was deeply concerned about the gentrification in the city and rising homelessness. I knew that I wanted to fight for working families and working people coming from, you know, my mom being a postal worker and me having worked in the service industry. Um, but I never really thought that I had the means to do so, that I could afford to actually run for office. DC's Fair Election Program is a system of public campaign financing that was launched for the first time in the 2020 election cycle. Uh, under the program, candidates who opt-in are able to receive public funds in exchange for agreeing to abide by special rules on their campaign fundraising and spending throughout the election. Uh, notably, the program offers matching funds payments at a rate of five to one for small dollar contributions that participating candidates raise from DC residents. I was encouraged to run by my former boss who held the seat before I did. And my most immediate thought was I'm not independently wealthy um, and I don't have these like very broad networks of rich donors available to me um, to do the fundraising piece. I mean, the Fair Elections Program was really a game changer having run for office before it existed and then running for office after it existed. My name is Christina Henderson and I'm asking for your vote getting into the Fair Elections Program and qualifying for the program. Very soon I was like, oh, okay, I think I can do this. I can raise, you know, $400,000 as a first time candidate, as a black woman, as someone who is not like financially connected in this city in that way. My name is Ed Lazier and I'm a candidate for DC Council at large in the, on the November ballot. We were able to easily talk to potential supporters, telling them that even the smallest donation my campaign would make a huge difference because it would receive a match. It allowed me to make clear to voters that I was not taking any donations from any major donors, that I wasn't taking any corporate funding, that I was being funded with a people-powered campaign, which is what we said all along. In those last few weeks of the campaign, I was not worried about fundraising. I literally was worried about voter contact. How can I talk to people? How can I get them to support? How can I get them to sign up to volunteer? young people who were in college, um, young high school students who were voting for the first time, were like, I'll give you $5, I'll give you $10, and all of those dollars made a difference and were able to make an impact. Um, and they felt a part of democracy for the first time, so it really allowed everyone to feel like they had a, a stake um, in the outcome of this election, which they did. I think the Fair Elections Program is changing DC's elections in important ways. Number one, it makes it so much easier for candidates to say they're not going to take uh, corporate or PAC found, uh, funding, which is, I think, a really good selling point when you're running for office. We always say we want to see people, you know, we want to see everyday working people, candidates, and that's what you're able to have. And for some voters, being a fair elections candidate signaled something for them in terms of your values um, and I think in terms of the type of elected official that you wanted to be. In the age of super PACs and big time corporate spending, I, I think public financing is increasingly a viable alternative to getting campaigns to really focus on, on the democratic values that should be fueling our elections. Um, and, and, and really what we've seen in a number of jurisdictions with public financing is that these programs are effective in getting more people engaged with campaigns and getting a larger number of candidates to run for office. One of my greatest inspirations is, is Shirley Chisholm. And, you know, Shirley Chisholm says, you know, if they don't give you a seat at the table, you bring a folding chair. And so for me, fair elections was the opportunity for me to bring a folding chair to the table.